try to make a breath your anchor so that when the tides rise and the tides fall, you don't get swept away. Now just notice the weather. Last week it was like summer. This week it's like winter. That's just the weather. There are lots of other things in the world that have an even bigger impact on the mind if we're not careful. And so we have to have a place where we can stay and be our own person. The mind can be its own mind. It doesn't have to pick up the minds of other people, the attitudes of other people, or events outside. Because the world is like this all the time, up and down, up and down. It goes this way and then goes that way. It goes left and then it goes right, forward, back. And if your mind is always following in the wake of the world, it gets turned around to the point where you never know what's up and what's down, what's right and what's wrong. So you need a good, solid place where you can have a sense, okay, this is north and this is south, this is right, this is wrong. And as the ways of the world change, they can change, but you don't have to change along with them. The mind needs that kind of solidity if it's going to maintain its sanity and maintain any sense of finding a true happiness. So make sure you make this breath here that you're focusing on as much like home as you can. With a roof and walls and a floor to protect you. In other words, you got the floor, that's your virtue, and it keeps you up above the animals on the ground. And you've got the walls to protect you from the winds, and you know, the winds of gain and loss and status, loss of status, praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. And then you've got a roof to protect you from all the defilements that might come in. That way you're home here in the, with the breath. It okay. can be very comfortable even when it's raining outside. There are those many passages in the canon where the monks are saying, okay, my hut is well thatched, and so just go ahead and rain. The thatch here, of course, is your discernment. Keeps out all the defilements. And so when you've got your defilements kept away, when you've got the issues of the world kept away, then the mind has its own space, and it can be at home, whatever the situation is outside. It's not just you're going to curl up inside. You're operating from a place of strength. If there's anything you can do to help people outside, you want to come from your place of strength. Same as the person inside a hut. You've got your, con your connection with the world outside. You can send out good things. But if you don't have a well-protected place, who knows what you're sending out to the rest of the world? Your mind starts thrashing around, and in the thrashing around you can say and do and think a lot of things that are going to be harmful to yourself and other people. So having a well-protected mind offers protection to others as well. <laughs>